In today's video, we'll be designing the ugliest Starbucks ever in Happy Home Paradise. We will also be making some more ugly villager houses too. But by the way, the winner of the giveaway was David Easton 768 so let's go ahead and congratulate them on winning. As another gift though, I have launched a merch shop with some funny shirts, the link will be in the description. And now, let's design an ugly Starbucks. Oh, Bruh. and only a few of you guys are actually subscribed, so a subscribe to the channel would be awesome. Well, let's go ahead and do this today, guys. Let's go ahead and make some ugly, ugly houses. We do not care. What's up, nerd? You ready to take me to go get my job? Let's go to work. Thank you, nerd. So it looks like we got a few new people over here. Some random bunny. Man, is his eyes so huge. Look at that. He's like, oh, yeah, man, I am so awake right now. Oh, yeah, this is not pop I'm drinking. This is Red Bull. And this dude's actually drinking pop. Look how relaxed he is. All right, but let's go ahead and head inside and get some work done. Ooh, they got some really cool items. What is this? A deep fryer? I'll buy it. I want this sign too. 2100? Yeah, I'll take it. I'll buy this evergreen ash as well. What's up, Wardell? Uh, good morning. I ate my croissant. Yeah, I'm ready to work. Go back to work. So we're doing another amiibo and we're bringing an all-time favorite, Rosie. Yeah, let's help Rosie out. Let's make her the ugliest house we possibly can. For my dream vacay palace, I was thinking something like this. So it looks like plants, some type of whiteboard, and a box. What's in a box? Yeah, let's find a little place to put this little zealot. You can have a beachfront. There you go. Since a lot of people like you, you can have one. <laughs> yeah, let's design the outside. Let's put a bunch of garbage outside your house. I think you're gonna like that. I think what we're gonna do is move the house literally. Oh, we can't. We'll put it right there. So it's just right in the way. Let's see what we can spam outside. You know what? She's very popular. Let's give her a bunch of phones for no reason. We're gonna put down these plant partitions. Random inflatable sofa outside. A couple of water coolers. You know, she always gets thirsty. A couple of cameras. She likes taking pictures. There we go. It looks pretty ugly. I love it. It. All right, now time to do the inside. Let's open up all this stuff. Okay, we're gonna turn this around so that way she can't use it. That's gonna be up against the wall. We'll put the plant right in front of it and then a box too. So she has to move some stuff if she wants to use it. Let's get a random microphone stand and a copy machine. It's not even gonna match the whole house, but we'll just put it in here. The microphone's gonna be facing the wall, so she can't even use it. Oh, let's put down this big piano. We obviously gotta put the picture of herself up on the wall because they love doing that. We'll spam a couple of those. Let's give her this office wall. And this white flooring, so it's just gonna be really bright in her house. We'll put up a couple of security cameras, and by couple, I mean an entire wall worth. A fluorescent light, let's spam these. Let's give her some random drink machine, another water cooler, a random sofa, a couple of umbrella stands, and a couple of magazines. You know, you can't go wrong with having 500 of those. Now let's organize this. There, we got the piano facing the wall, she can't even use it now. And we'll put these magazines in front so she can't even walk to it. There we go, let's go ahead and clean it up. All right, and here's the Perfect picture. All right, Rosie, your house is all done. Hope you enjoy the ugliness. Yeah, it's ready. <laughs> Look at how many security cameras are up against the wall. <laughs> she has like three pictures of herself. There's a couple of those umbrella stands just sitting over there. She has a random couch facing the entrance, not even facing anything else other than that. A water cooler, but it's faced the other way. And then she has that drink machine, but she can't even get to it because there's so many magazines on the ground. <laughs> there's like 500 fluorescent lights. Yeah, that's going to really hurt her eyes after a while. I mean, look at how her pupils are already. The piano is just facing the wall too. This was awesome. You were such a huge help today. Uh, since you're here, do you want to hang out for a bit? No. Hey, no worries, Grant. You're always welcome here. I don't think I'll ever step foot inside your house again. Who would want to do that? Uh, aren't you sweet? Thank you. That means a lot to us. And please reach out if you need anything. You know, I've been getting lots of calls lately from happy clients you work with. Really? They're happy with what I did? That's interesting. 9,000 pokey. Okay. Thank you. By the way, did you know that your last project was a bit of a milestone project, Grant? That's right. It was the 10th vacation home you designed and that's worth celebrating. In honor of doing your work, we put a small party. Oh, it's a pizza party, so you don't have to pay me more. Thank you. Just like my regular jobs. Oh boy, was I right. There's a pizza party. <laughs> They don't have to pay me more. There you go. Here's your pizza party. I love how Wardell has that little cone on his head, like a dunce cap. <laughs> it just doesn't go well with his head. Way to go, Grant. I can't believe you've already gotten 10 homes in your belt. Oh, uh, congrats. Everyone has a glass of juice ready. Ready then? Glass of juice. I don't think that's juice. Oh, well, thank you for the pizza party. It looks like Wardell is already eating a slice or maybe the little dude. You've done so much for Paradise Planning in such a short amount of time, Grant. It feels we should keep doing even more to celebrate, especially since we never had a welcome party. Right, there's only so much we can do here, but maybe if we had a bigger venue, of course, we gotta keep up all the great work if we're gonna throw even a bigger party. All right, what? so that was a pretty interesting party. Boy, that guy can jump really high. <laughs> all right, cool, bye. I'm done with this pizza party. <laughs> all right, let's find someone outside this time. So this one says they want a relaxing 
home. Let's talk to this, uh, rhino. I'm not sure we've met. My name's Rhonda, and you work for Paradise Planning. Honestly, it's been a dream of mine to own a vacation home in this area, Bigfoot. Bigfoot? Who are you calling Bigfoot? You're the Bigfoot. Oh, you actually have time now. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go, Bigfoot. Just for that, you're getting the ugliest house. I'm telling you that much. I think my vacation home would feel something like this. So, two scented things in a random bed. Okay, we know what we're spamming. Yeah, let's find where you're gonna go, you little zealot. You want something relaxing? Now nah, let's give you something a little bit more stress-induced, like being in the cold. There you go. I don't think she has any personal space. Look at how close she is to my face. You know, I take personal space pretty seriously. Girl, you need to learn more personal space. I think I'm gonna bring the houses as close as we can to the front so this way we can spam stuff around it. Oh, looks like you have a bunch of uh, plants. Yep, let's go ahead and do that. A random plush of a puppy. That's weird. A couple of snow globes. Uh, yeah, you, you want to be fancy? Here's your fancy tea set. Let's put a random piano outside, too. A cello as well. A harp. Yeah, play that music. Here's a bath. Some pottage. And some more plants. And some incense burners. Because, you know, you stink. There we go. Full house. Have fun with your outside. All right, let's put the bed in the corner. And then we'll put the incense right by the pillow. So that way it's just blowing right into your face when you go to sleep. Look at that. All right, your bed's going to be surrounded by a couple of plants. Put this random baby bear. I don't know why you have that. And a couple of pictures of yourself on the wall. A couple of wreaths. Give you this ugly wall and this ugly flooring. Actually, no, no. We're going to do this flooring. Let's get you a boom box, random clock, a grand piano. Ooh, a bunch of floor lights. She doesn't have any ceiling lights, so that's okay. Let's go ahead and put down a bunch of uh, fragrance sticks because she stinks. Oh, we can put a bunch of these uh, wall planters, though, on the wall. Some more pottage, potato pottage. My life, it's potato. All right, I think your house is pretty ugly. There's a nice picture. <laughs> All right, I think your ugly house is ready. So this is how the vacation home will come in long. Is it ready yet? Yeah, it's ready for a uh, Bigfoot. <laughs> I just love how the piano is facing the wall and same thing with the antique clock. It's just both facing the wall. I love how her bed has that little thing spewing out right into her face. So every time she wants to go to bed at night, she's just going to be having that incense right in her face. And speaking of incense, there's like five of them on the ground. So her house is always going to smell weird. And she's just surrounded by plants. So you know, there's going to get bugs in there eventually at some point in her, in her time and being at the house. And then there's like all these random lights on the ground too. So it's always bright in her house. Feel free to hang out and relax a bit if you have time. No, never. Especially after you call me Bigfoot. Get lost. You get out of my life and shut up. You put in a ton of hard work so far. I think we need to call you a breakout designer. You're really coming to your own artist. I'm excited to watch you continue to grow. Yeah, I'm some type of artist, that's for sure. 12,000 pokey. Oh, thanks for the small pay raise. I guess the pizza party and a pay raise. By the way, our selection of work clothes have been updated so you can check out the locker when you can. Changing work clothes can be refreshing. No, it's not. All right, let's go do another house. This guy says he wants perfect photos. Yeah, we can help you out with that. This is something I've been meaning to ask, but it's a little sensitive. Well, here goes nothing. Will you help me build a vacation home? Leave it to me, bro. Giddy up. Can't wait to see what you could do. All right. Yeah, he's been nice so far. At least he's not calling me Bigfoot. Here's what I'm thinking. Just a studio light and a DSLR camera. Okay. Yeah, I bet you he wants to take pictures of the outside. So let's get him something that he really can't do that with. Yeah, you'll be stranded on an island. And have fun taking pictures of that. Yeah, we'll have fun with these cameras, that's for sure. All right, first let's move his house right in front of the pier, pretty much. And then let's see what we can throw down. Oh yeah, he has plants. You already know what it is. Wait, mannequins? Oh, let's put a couple of these down. That's nasty. <gasps> bird cages, yeah. Here's some birds. I'm the biggest bird. And then the rest plants, I believe. He's just gonna have so many birds outside his house. A random ring light, you know, because he's an influencer. Random SLR camera. You know, let's give him two of them, just for no reason. A bubble machine. Hanger rack, so his clothes are outside. All right, I think I love the outside. <laughs> All these stupid mannequins. I actually have a funny idea for this house, and it involves those stupid mannequins. So let's just have the light face the wall. So yeah, perfect lighting, right? It'd be ambient light, and then we'll put the camera right over here. Before I forget, let's go ahead and put a picture of himself on the wall for no reason. This ugly wall and this ugly floor. Let's spam these lights. Let's get him these uh, mannequins in here. I have an idea. Let's give them definitely some bird cages. He needs like 500 birds in here. I think the rest of his house will just be birds. I love it. <laughs> just two mannequins as soon as you walk in the house. Two freaky, freaky mannequins just sitting there. Some plants and then a bunch of birds. <laughs> He's just a bird watcher. Takes a ton of pictures of birds. There's the perfect picture. There you go. And let's try to clean up some of these birds. All right, Buster, your house is all done. Yeah, take a look. Let's see how you like it. Uh-oh. Sure, I just need a moment for a quick supervisor to design our consultant if you don't mind. One more amazing vacation 
vacation home for the islands to sing about. But before we wrap up, you got a second? You remember how to make furniture sparkle, right? Tell him about any cool thing he could tell you. Oh, you can make different effects now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we'll have a bunch of butterflies coming off the... There you go. I did one for you. I'm not doing that for every single thing. There you go. It's ready, Buster. <laughs> there's butterflies by the kid. Boy, I just love how freaky it is that there's two mannequins just coming in and that there's butterflies now by the little kid. And then once you get in the house, it probably stinks because of all those birds pooping everywhere. And then you can't even get to the back to do anything because there's just birds in there. There's so many lights, so the birds are going crazy because it's just bright 24-7 inside the house. And then the camera and the equipment that he wants to use is behind everything. So in order to do that, he has to move the bird cages, which he has to take the birds out of the cages. So that means they're flying everywhere and pooping all over throughout his house. I love it. Hey. I'm not hanging out with you, bro. Especially in this nasty house with all those birds, bro. It reeks in here. 12,000 pokey. I'll take it. Oh, we can work on our next facility to build two of them. What? A restaurant and a cafe? <gasps> Ooh. I already know. Let's let's make a cafe. Oh, this is something. Dude, we're going to make dumb Starbucks. Or no, no, no. We'll call it poop Starbucks. Or star poop. Poop bucks? Ooh, I like poop bucks better. Yeah, let's build the outside. Oh, it's already ugly. I love it. Now nah, we're going to make everything depressing. Everything will be all black. There you go. <laughs> the most depressing cafe exterior. <laughs> yup. Yeah, let's head inside. This will be fun. We're going to call it Poop Bucks. This is one sad cafe. Okay, we're going to put the tables all in the corners. So this is how you sit. So it looks like we need one cash register. We already got the table and we got two out of four chairs. Okay. I'm actually going to try to make this one a little bit nicer. And by a little bit, I mean just a little bit. Oh, we can put bird cages in here. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Arcade machines. Oh, I love it. Wow, there's a lot of stuff we can put in this one. Ooh, this one's actually pretty cool. I like this ice cream wall. We'll throw a pinball machine and one arcade machine each, but the arcade machines, you won't be able to use them. They're going to be facing each other. Let's put up a diner clock. Some diner. It was the starlight diner. Couple of plants. We'll put this table down and we'll put another large cafe table. Actually, we'll use the small ones. I like those, but we're definitely going to give it different chairs. Let's give it these metal and wood chairs. <laughs> they can never match. We'll put the espresso maker down, traditional tea set, some iced coffee down. Down, and then the cash register. This poop box is actually starting to look pretty good. <laughs> so there's two little TVs when you walk in. There's one and then another one with the same exact information. It's that way. Oh, I don't know what I'm ready to order. So when there's a queue, you can just order at one and then go to the other one. Yeah, let's actually switch out this cash register. I like this one a little bit more. Oh, we can make it black. Yeah, let's make it black. All right. Most of the stuff that we can make black, I did. Honestly, I'm liking this, but we still have to make it stupid in some way. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a grant design. That's for sure is wrong with you. Oh yeah, let's get some birds in here. This way it always just smells like bird. Never, it never smells like coffee. It just smells like bird in here 24 seven. Okay, actually I'm pretty happy with this. Ooh, we'll have the lights off like this. I love it. There we go. That's a good picture. Go ahead and clean up some of this. We'll put this bird thing on there so it looks like it's just uh, freezing. <laughs> no one wants to touch it. It's too cold. I do like that feature where it looks like it's cold. I like that a lot actually. Let's put this one on the birds. It like makes it look like it's messed up or something. Yeah, it looks like it has like dark energy. Look at that <laughs> on the bird cages. <laughs> and I think the rest will just be some OG uh, sparkle blast as they call it. Okay. I think this looks perfect. It was perfect. The spooky cafe or known as poop bucks. Oh, I'm finished. <laughs> Let's decide who'll be working here. Yeah, let's pick Eloise. She looks like she eats all the ice cream. You have any ideas for a name? Oh yeah, let me name it. Poop Bucks. I like it. You definitely want to name it Poop Bucks? You got it. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at them all in there. They're like, what kind of place is this? They're sitting by the birds. And <laughs> there's just a bunch of dark energy. They can't even play any of the video games because it's all against the wall. The person behind the cash register has like little to no room because it's just right up against the wall. Everything is freezing in there. It's like negative 20 degrees, just all sitting in there. There's two TVs of the exact same thing. So you think, oh, there's two different menus. Nope, just the same stuff. And then the espresso maker is the only thing that actually is good with the, the poop bucks in there. Yeah, that was pretty good. The new staff is here. I also found some customers to take place for a spin. I can't believe how gorgeous this cafe turned out to be. It's going to look so good in photos. Yeah, it's going to look interesting. All right. They want to take a photo. So let's go ahead and do that. Poop bucks. With a new cafe open and ready for business, our island is on the map. Yay, poop bucks. Oh, yeah, dude, you'll bring in so much business. They'll be 
like, what is poop bucks? A few words? I am saying some words. Oh, um, I think it'd be nice the cafe gets a lot of visitors. I'm not used to speaking in public. Uh, happy to help. Thank you both very much. And last but not least, let's take a photo. There you go. There's your photo. I think it came out lovely, but what do you think of the photo, Grant? It's perfect. All right. That was cool. We made poop bucks. I can't believe we got to make our own version of Starbucks in Animal Crossing. That's awesome. One of the ugliest and weirdest cafes. Uh, I was hungry too. I guess that makes three of us. I could hardly stand how delicious everything smelled because of the birds. Is that why it smelled? Oh, we should all go to the cafe together as customers and relax soon. My treat. No, I don't do outside work activities, bro. 25,000. Holy moly. Now that's what I'm talking about. I made a successful business called Poop Bucks. Of course I'm going to get paid well. I'm just pleased to get around another business off the ground. Everyone looks so happy. It was a reminder about why we do what we do. Bringing a smile to everyone's face is everything. I'm glad we all got to experience that together. Oh, would you stop crying? We can build a restaurant anytime too. Well, I think we'll save that for the next video. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a lot of fun. We were able to make a Starbucks, aka Poop Bucks. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And we also had some fun designing some of the animals houses and making them look ugly. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And as always, peace.